Hi, Mr. Heffern here, and this is a short tutorial on how to draw diagrams for your physics assignments and labs using Microsoft Word. So first of all, when you're in Word, you need to make some space to work with. You need a canvas. So I um, just make some space okay, by uh, putting a letter at the top of the page, another one at the bottom. Or you can make a happy face by going colon dash shift zero, which is a bracket. It makes a little happy face. There we go. So now i got this blank area to work with. So if you have some pictures already uh, ready to go, you can go grab them. So for example, I've got this uh, hiker, I've got this car, and I've got this roadway and, um, and some homes. I guess I'm just going to grab those. Now, um, one thing you should do uh, for all these pictures is uh, maybe make them a little smaller. So I'm just going to do that right there. And you should almost always put them behind text. So you click on the, the wrap option behind text. So I'm going to do that for all of these pictures here. And also make them smaller. Okay. Uh, let's see. That one's going to be an inch. There we go. Put behind text. And the last one is this one here. Uh, just You can also click on wrap text and go behind text right there. So here i got a roadway. Uh, I've got a car for my road. There we go. So now I'm maybe going to click on the road and go um, send to the back. There we go. So now it's behind everything. And I've got my uh, my homes or houses or whatever. So I'm just going to make them a little small over there. Got my pedestrian. Good. And now I'm going to uh, maybe add some vectors. So for example, maybe this car is uh, speeding along this way. So I'm going to right click on my vector there. Uh, and there we go. And I'm going to right click on that and go format shape. So maybe I'll change that to be a red flying instead. Uh, maybe I'll change it to be three thickness. Okay, there we go. Um, if I want to do some kind of curve, I can use a curve shape for that. So for example, maybe the pedestrian is going to walk out of the way of the car like this. There we go. And I can, uh, Escape, there we go, and I'm going to right click on that and then change that to be three thick as well. Uh, give it an end arrow type like this, and maybe uh, even make it dashed like that. There we go, and change the color. Sure, why not? There we go. So uh, that's a uh, curve pathway for this pedestrian. Here I got my car moving in a straight line. And what if I want to add a robot or something else? So I'm going to go to my, um, to my pictures here. I'm going to Grab a robot, robot, there we go, JPEG. You see this robot, it's, uh, it's kind of big, so I'm going to make it smaller first of all. And now I'm going to set it uh, behind the text. Okay, here's the problem, see this robot? It's not a transparent picture, so when I um, try to use it, it's blocking everything else. So that's, that's no good. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to a, an online program like... Uh, like Pixlr, okay, P-I-X-L-R, and I'm going to open uh, an image of the robot. So here's my robot, the, the JPEG right there. Load it up, and then I'm going to use this uh, magic wand tool right here. So the magic wand. Maybe I'll change the tolerance a little bit. Doesn't really matter much, but uh, there we go. So I found this uh, this robot, and it's selected all the white space around it. So I'm going to go edit. Invert the selection, and then I'm going to edit copy, and then I go new image, which is transparent and created from the clipboard, and click OK. There we go. So now we got a, a robot, and most of the image is transparent, but not all of it. So now I'm going to collect the parts that don't look transparent, and then hit the delete button, and right there as well. And anywhere else where it looks like maybe it didn't uh, didn't quite get it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, the more transparent, the better when you're making your uh, your diagram. Good. Uh, the other thing I can do also to make it a little uh, a little better is I can uh, zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to grab this crop tool right here, and I'm just going to find the corner of the robot. There we go, and just. Just fit the robot inside, click on the side somewhere, apply the changes, yes. And now I've got a smaller robot picture, and it's mostly transparent now. So I'm going to go save. Uh, I'm going to change it to a PNG. 
I'm going to call it uh, maybe Robot 2. There we go. Save it. And save it right there. There we go. So now I'm going to go back to, uh, to Word. And instead of having this robot here, I'm going to insert the new transparent robot, which is right here. Robot, robot 2. There we go. Okay, so it's too big again, so I'm just going to change the size of that robot. Uh, put it behind the text. There we go. Now I got my big robot. So finally, what if I want to put this in an assignment or somewhere else? Uh, what I want to do is make this into its own picture. So I'm just going to click my, my, uh, my cursor down there a little bit. And then I'm going to go Function Print Screen. So it's going to take a screenshot. And then all I have to do is go to uh, Paint. Control B, and there's my screenshot. And now what I'm going to do is uh, select around my picture like that. There we go. I'm going to hit crop. And I'm going to go file, save as. And I'm going to save uh, this picture to the same folder. I'll, you can put it anywhere really though. So I'm just put it in the same place though. There we go. Let's see. Okay, and this is going to be my robot scenario picture. There we go. Okay. And last thing, though, unfortunately, this is also no longer a transparent picture. So what I'd probably do is go back online, and I would probably load this up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the image from my computer. I'm going to grab this robot scenario, which is right there. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to make this a transparent diagram as well. So I'm going to click the magic wand on it. So I'm going to go uh, edit, um, invert the selection, edit, copy, file, new image, transparent, create clipboard. And boom, I've got myself a nice uh, transparent diagram that I can put into a web page or an assignment. So I'm going to go file, save, change it to a PNG. There we go. Uh, robot scenario. And hit OK. And just save it. And yep, I'm going to replace it. There we go. Good. So there we go. That's it. Hopefully this helps you if you're trying to draw some diagrams in Microsoft Word. Um, and so there you go.